All right, this one's gonna be on Air Comic Server. It's a way to stream your comic books over um, locally over Wi-Fi or over the internet, I believe you can do. And this one is not open source, so, uh, but this is like the only solution I know how to can do this. And if you have a open source one, let me know. I really want one. Um, but how do you get this to work? This one is a Java application. So first thing you need to do is search for Java in your um, package manager. Should be able to find it. Or sometimes it's called um, JRE, right? So I have, what was that, JRE7 here. And it's called OpenJDK. So install that. Uh, sometimes if you're on a uh, older distribution, it's called JRE6 or something like that. Or sometimes it's called Ice-T. One of those should be able to have, you know, you install and you have Java. Anywho, uh, after you have Java installed, you need to download these two programs or these two files, I mean. Uh, AirComicServer.jar and this XML file is your configuration files. Uh, so this one, you can actually run the GUI uh, program if you like the GUI only. If you want to do it from a command line, you can do command line too. I'm not sure if you can run Java apps from a headless server. Even though it has command lines, I'm not sure you can do it from a headless server. But you can try if you want. Okay, So I'll show you both the GUI and the command line. So the GUI is pretty easy. After you have Java installed, you do java-jar and then aircomicserver.jar. And then you hit enter and uh, you know it'll launch the GUI. So I have my... Um, what is that? My alias set up already, so I'm just gonna use my alias here. GUI, and this thing will pop up, right? And this is your GUI basically. So all you need to know here, we're gonna do this internally. So we're gonna use the internal IP address. So this one's called 192.168.1.105. That's my internal IP address, and the port that we're gonna use is uh, 21002. That's the default port. And the password is whatever password you want. I just put one, two, three, four for this example. And here, this is the add directory. So you just add the directory. Um, give me the pop up box here. What is that? So right here, this is it. And then you just browse to the folder you want to share. This one supports um, regular images like, you know, JPEGs, PNGs, um, and, and all that stuff. And but the thing that we want to use this for is CBR files and CBZ files, aka uh, what was that WinZip files and WinRAR files. Okay, uh, so that's what we use. And just add the folder that has those. Uh, the thing that's different from this and, and Caliber is that with Caliber, you know, you have to download the the CBR files and CBZ files. With this one, you just stream it. You're not downloading shit, right? Uh, so that's what we're gonna do here. Anyways, add that sucker in and then uh, start the server and I'll say it's running. And now, um, since this one doesn't have a web UI version or anything of the viewer, um, I can only demonstrate this with uh, Android because that's what I use. I'm not sure if there's a uh, iOS one, but you can always look if you want. And so, so this is my uh, Android emulator. And the thing that you need to install on your Android is the Air Comic Viewer. This one's ad supported. I think there's one for uh, no ads, but you have to pay for that shit. I don't want to pay. So we're gonna add a server in. So you go click on add, uh, and you can get this program in the Play Store. Okay, basically you just go in there and uh, install it. And then we're gonna type in our uh, IP address, our internal IP address is 192.168.1.105, and the port is the default port that we use. And the password, if you had a password, you uh, Ours was one two three four, so I'll put that in there. Hit OK, and here's our server. So I click on it to connect, and these are two uh, folders that um, we did, right? And if I click on this, uh, our sample folder here, and it has some Naruto stuff in here, and you see this is a CBZ file. Uh, oh, actually not download it. It will just stream it. So you click on it. It'll straight up stream it, and you can see that you can see the archives uh, inside. It's just images, and you click on it, and it will load streaming, right? And my Android emulator is kind of slow when I'm recording, but you can see that I can flip this, and you can actually zoom uh, in and out on the images too. Although I can't demonstrate that here because I don't know how to do it on this emulator. Well, you can do that if you have a you know a tablet or a phone or whatever. 
Uh, you can actually stream it. Come on, man. It's low here. There you go. So you get the idea. This is how you read uh, comics without downloading it, just streaming it. Uh, so that's the GUI version, and that's the end of it for that if you're a GUI user. Now, if you want to do this from the command line, uh, which is what I do with my server, I just you know run this thing on my server, and, and that's how I read comics. So for the command line portion, for the command line users, I'll give you my uh, aliases and, and uh, what you need to do. But how you do this here. Um, let's go back here. Let's close this one off. And actually, let me just kill that one too. So let's do air comic kill here. And that will kill that. Okay. So before we did was um, Java dash jar. Um, what was that? Air comic dot jar. And this one was for the GUI version. If you want to run this from the command line, let me give you some help. Uh, page here. What is that? Java store air comic. If you want to get help, all you do is hit uh, dash dash help. And you see it'll give you more options here that you can do. So if you want to run with no GUI, you do a dash n at the end. Uh, and if you want to use the configurations, well you have to use it because um, you're doing this from the command line. And uh, you do a dash c for configurations. So first thing you need to do is actually edit your configurations and your configuration is this XML file here let me do clear the screen again so you can see here uh, so this XML file here and you can use nano to open it if you want I'm gonna use a vim here All right but inside it uh, your XML let's spell it right here it's basically all the stuff that I talked about in the GUI so you have your folder here one folder uh, another folder and this is your password if you set up a password and this is your port right if you want to add another folder it's real simple um just you know get another one and make sure the key just change it to uh, the next value like zero one two three four and all that and here if you want to change it to a different folder you can do uh you know maybe like you put in your media folder or something like that or maybe in your caliber folder you get the idea right uh, after that, you just save it and um, you get out of here. You just save it, and to run it, uh, you can do uh, jar air comic, and you do uh, you have to point it to the XML uh, file, like your configuration file. So you do a dash C for config and XML, and a dash N for no GUI. And I'm gonna do a dev null because I don't want to see any output. That this one, the the end of uh, this part here. This one is optional if you want to do that. Actually, I'll just give you my aliases uh, at the end. But um, let's run this here. So this one is running, and that is the command line version. Now, if we go back to our Android emulator, um, no, let's see here. Uh, you can still connect to it. Look at this, right? You can still look at the programs in here. Or oh, let's go to Bleach here, and you can load up Bleach. And there you go. Uh, load this sucker. What the hell is this? Damn it, fucking slow. There you go. So you get the idea command line way or GUI way. And for the ending here, we'll just uh, show you my aliases for this. Okay, so make it simpler. So let's close out of that and we'll do. Okay. Kill. We kill the server. Okay. So the alias is real simple. Um, the one, if you want to kill the program, this is the alias is to uh, kill it. And this is to run the GUI. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to explain this, this last one. What was this one here? Um, one second. There was another command that he gave us. Uh, this one right here, this Java, um, I don't know, this weird flags here. Basically, this one is to limit your uh, memory usage because some people are complaining about like memory leaks. So you can actually limit your uh, memory usage for that application. Um, so if you have you're running on a, uh, you know, if you're running the Java program and it's, it, it takes up a lot of memory, 
That's mainly because it has memory or something like that. And you can use that command to restrict it to 32 megs or whatever. And that's usually what I use. And that's what I put in my fig here, or my aliases here. So this is the GUI, right? And this one is just the command line. And this one is just the configurations if I want to edit it real quick. So everything is in the description. Um, just go and read it if you want to set up uh, what was that your air comic server uh, like I said this one is not open source so I really would like an open source one if you guys know of, of anything that can actually stream uh, uh, some of that CBR files or CBZ files to my tablet uh, if there's a web UI that would be even great too because I like uh, I like to have like multiple options a web UI uh, definitely uh, an app on an Android or something like that Anywho, that's how you do that. Everything will be in the description if you want to do this. That'll be it for this one.